All right, Harvey, I'm listening. Why don't you tell me about Stephen Roper's diversionary tactics? You're a detective inspector. I'm sure you're familiar with them. I'm old. Forgetful. Why don't you jog me memory? OK. Step one, the controlling influence of fear. If you have built a consortium of commission-based contraband vendors, you run the risk of being name-dropped to the police should those in your charge be faced with incarceration. Also, there are those who may wish to make money on your behalf and then forget to pay their dues, of which examples must be made. While there are guns, their use brings unwanted police attention. This being the case, the sensible criminal maintains a fearsome reputation with good old-fashioned art craft. Step two, evading detection. Though the clandestine art of surveillance exemplified by the police owes little to the techniques employed by government agents and acts of espionage, their constant presence still requires creative vigilance. The trick is to keep the gear moving from place to place so that even if the law tracks its whereabouts, it's long gone before they can do anything about it. Of course, police incompetence can't take all the blame. After all, the drug squad must be short-staffed, what with all the traffic violations requiring the manpower. Step three, building a case for citizen harassment. You look like nothing more than to have someone else do your job for you, which is why you are such big fans of the telephone tip-off. If the drug squad receive a call from a concerned citizen giving details of a drug cache at a residence in a problem area, they will generally act on the information. Of course, the trick is to make the anonymous phone call yourself after you have made sure there is nothing even resembling aspirin on the property so you can laugh as you watch the boys in blue sweat as they tear apart your house to know about it. When they finally call off the search, your house will be in such a state as to warrant a generous compensation payment from the taxpayer amid claims that your reputation has been unfairly tainted. Repeat this procedure four times over a 12-month period and you can rest assured that even the fire brigade wouldn't dare into your property if the old street were blazed.